So unfortunately, it's not Mbappe's third player of the month, but we do have a player of the month, Terrier. He's coming in as the 88 rated card, and he has got himself the Acrobatic Plus, which more than likely is going to be decent later on in the game. I like the pace, the dribbler man interested in, and the shooting looks phenomenal. I've not looked at the in-games yet, and I don't even know if he's a four-star, four-star, but let's just jump straight into him. He was very, very cheap in terms of an 86 and an 83 rated team. Four-star, four-star, nice. Six foot high, medium. Right foot, as we know, and left mid, left wing is good because he's still got that position as well as the striker. What do we got? Pace, looking good. Shooting, decent. Passing not terrible as well. Obviously, the dribbling could do with a bit more agility balance, but it's still not the worst. Composure's good. Decent amount of strength, head and accuracy is there. We've got finesse, power header, rapid, and then aerial. And then, like I say, we've got the play style plus as well. I don't know if we'd be able to see if he has got any evolution straight off the bat. He's currently coming in at about 80,000, which is, is respectable, to be honest. No, it doesn't look like we've got any yet. Have we got any from the 81? So we could have made him an 88 already. Whether that would be, let's have a look. Would that be the same? It'd be, it'd be roughly, but no play star pluses on that one, unfortunately. So it is a nice start to go with. Chemistry star wise, I mean, we've got a decent amount of finishing. I don't know what we'd actually prefer to go with because we could go with the engine, bit more pace, agility balance, as well as pass. Passing? Yeah, it is passing, which would work because 93 finishing is decent. You could also go with the finisher. That actually could be the move, but I would not be able to see as we don't have the actual footbin uh, chemistry styles yet to see what works. I'm going to go and say we'll try the finisher as I think that gives you, what does that actually, it gives you some agility balance, doesn't it? Gives you eight on the agility, four on the balance. So take... Take him up to, what, 91? 91 agility, 84 balance. What does the engine do? The engine would give you 4 and 8, so it switches it around. The engine would be better for balance. It'd take that to 88, and then you'd end up with 87 on the agility. I mean, and you get 4 pace. You get a bit of 5 on the passing, which would take it, what, to 89? I may go with the engine, actually. Just because of the balance agility so kind of split... I'll do that. We'll do that. If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to U7Buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. Right, let's see what we can get out of him then. I feel like it's not necessarily going to be... Ooh, good pass. There it is. Oh, the Travellers. Vite. Oh, good save, Allison. It's not necessarily... Is he worth it? Because I think 80k for an 88 is still very good indeed, re regardless of who it is. And especially from what Terrier's kind of record is, he's normally a pretty decent card. He tends to get quite a lot of upgrades as well. I think last year we had like four or five SBCs for our promos, which I just thought that ball was going to go to him then. So it is kind of more based on is he worth it in terms of can he get into any team? And it's it's slightly, I'd, I'd say a shame, a, a Dan ever utter the words that he's not 87 because he'd be brilliant in the Fantasy Cup as well. The fact that that is, ooh, there he is, there he is, there he is. One more, one, ah, it's not enough. But the fact that he's not 87 is, is just a bit of a shame that he can't go in there as that seems to be quite a fun game mode. It is very different to what we're used to. Oh, I nearly get it back, which is just a little bit of a change. I think that that is literally it. It is just a change for, from just absolute sweat lords all the time. Into his feet. It is a shame he doesn't have the rapid or anything. I don't know why I tried to push it through. He's managed to get over it. Can we go for a bit of a finesse? Okay, maybe not. Big header away. The big thing is, is only having that acrobatic really limits the extra bonus that we get from the card. And, and I think the big thing with Terrier is going to be like a lot of the other SBCs. It's it's not going to be a now thing. Little move. Oh, he's... No way was he offside. There was zero chance he was offside then. 
but it isn't going to be a now thing. It's like Savio, like like quite a lot of them players we've had, especially during future starts. It's going to be whatever referee. Is he not given anything? Like I got an offside that clearly wasn't, but he didn't. He didn't get that. Brilliant. Go on, one more, one more. There it is. Left foot. Oh, he drills it. That can't, okay, volley. So I suppose, yeah, he gets the extra bonus on them volleys. But it will be nice to see what sort of evolutions we could get with a playstyle extra. That's going to be the kind of big thing from him. Good turn on him. Gets the pass into Mbappe. Easy. Just going to ball roll around the keeper. A bit too casually in my eyes. Oh, he's picked it up. Finesse from Mbappe. Little bicey. But he's always had the, the best attributes, to be honest. Being, what, six foot, good build, obviously very lean, good play. Ball roll. Oh, he's not even gone for it. And again, oh, his left stick. I mean, it's it's decent, but it's not quite, like, crazy. So that, that's always something to consider. But again, he is meant to be technically a left wing. They haven't really changed the build massively on the card. I need to see what was his other card that he had. I don't know if he's even had a card this year. Good block and away. So it is an interesting one to see what you could go on. I feel like as a striker, that's probably going to be the best scenario for him because I, I would personally take anybody with more of the technical rapid quick step down the wing rather than him and kind of have him as that target man for the acrobatic stuff. That's going to be the best shout for him as here. Because what we can do is go for this and go for something like that. It's very likely not going to be a goal. But we can still work it round. Look at the fake. This guy is just not jumping in on challenges. I respect it. I'm, I managed to pull a penalty somehow. We got any free kicks on him? That's a big question. No, no, we do not. Are we going to chip this? We're going to chip this. Go on. He's, he's looking right. Ah, oh, we would have got him anyway. He's injured. <laughs> And again, even whilst injured, he's still going to make them runs. That's the one. Oh, maybe not. Virgil is straight on there. Backer's going to put it back in the field. Best is going to try and handball it. There he is. He's making a run with Mbappe. Easy one to find. Little double ball roll into something. Scoop it out of the way if you can. Oh, and again, what, I don't get it. He's, oh, he's gone, but he's not diving in, but then he'll happily press B. Good play. I don't know what that was. Oh, there's the ball. This guy screams to me that he's going to dive in somewhere. Just go straight across goal, though, instead. Beautiful. Oh, and again, can we get some acrobatics here? Goes across, finds the volley. Allison with a big save. We will try and score one. I don't even know where he is here. We're going to bring it to best anyway. We'll see what we can do. Where is he? He's right at the back, isn't he? There he is. All the way across. <laughs> Run for it. Oh, good turn. Very, very good turn. Looking near post and Terrier. That is stunning. Great shooting. And that is why engine may not be the bad option for a bit more agility balance. You can kind of subsidize that with the shooting all already being pretty good on the base. Oh, good bit of play. Oh, good tackle from Bade. Oh, it's got to be. <laughs> I just can't get the acrobatic to work. Like it's, Occasionally it will, but if you try and force it, I just cannot get it right. It's either too far, too little. He doesn't get the quite connection on it. Can we go for something? I, I wanted something else if we can. Travella? I mean, what on earth Virgil's doing, I've got not a clue. 
But going into the overall then for him, it's currently coming in at 80,000 coins, which I think is absolutely fine. You're looking at the actual SBC. You've obviously got, if, if my mouse wants to work, 86 rated, 83. No informs needed, which is absolutely perfect. That is the big winner for me is informs, to be honest. But like I say, in terms of a card, Really not bad at all. I know we can't actually even put any chem styles on him, but if we were look at the 86, for instance, obviously if he was to go with the engine, plus four on there, plus five on there, plus five on here, this is kind of the extra bonus here, the four and the eight. If you went for the finisher, as you can see, it is the other way around. As we've got a decent amount of agility, I'm more than happy to kind of sacrifice maybe getting a little bit less shooting bonus and just going all out for that balance. He's got great composure on him, and it's not necessarily of, is he worth the card? I think he's always worth it for an 80k rate, 80 SBC. It's really not that bad of a price. It's just where does he fit in as such? Because we've got so many strikers, it's unbelievable. If we was to go striker and then we put the price... Say we go anywhere between about 65, oh no, no, if we go about, so we say 150,000, which is still probably considered quite cheap for a striker nowadays, especially when you do look at some of the prices we have got. That most definitely is not the worst we've seen. When we look at them, you're looking at the Harry Kanes, Ostuman, you've obviously got a base Rooney, Govu, you then go down to an SBC of Luis Hernandez, Adama's there, Teller. Then we go a bit further down, we're kind of getting into his territory. Aubameyang's SBC, the better one in my opinion, was. Uh, Lewandowski in form. You've got Lozano, another Kane. Then you've got Terrier amongst Courtois, who I, I like as a, an, an option of a shapeshifter, but he's definitely not the Peter Cech. You've got Rasmus, Melito. There's a lot of decent names, but they're definitely not going to hit the absolute jackpot. Like You're not going to pay 80k and get an Mbappe-esque card. It just isn't going to happen. The one thing I've always liked from Terrier especially is just how his style works. He's six foot, he's a good old lean build I believe, average and lean, he's got the pace, he's got the shooting as well on this one. Can be striker so he's got a different variant to his position. I'd say the only thing that they've kind of got wrong with this card is the play style plus which I don't know if one of the goals that he scored leading up to this is an acrobatic goal, which would make sense. And fair enough that that is what it is. But that's the only thing I'd say that could make this card better. Everything else is pretty decent for an 88 rated card. So let me know down below if you're going to do him and make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.